one if you can hear me let me see what's happening melanie definitely can hear me melanie always hear me thank you uh coach is that how you say that k-k-o-c-h thank you jumbo shrimp thank you to salty thank you everybody happy fucking friday ladies this is the deal this is the deal okay if you want to hear the go off concerning this past week please get your ass behind that wall Everything got addressed. And, you know, I was kind of sitting back thinking, I'm like, you know, I talk to these ladies a lot about reciprocity all the time. You know, when people give you stuff, you're supposed to give back and that type of shit. I'm giving back tonight. But first, I'm going to get this ignorant bitch out the way. Uh, What is her name? Glorilla. My sister had to tell me about her because, y'all, I thought Glorilla was like a, uh, what is it called? reality tv star well Aaliyah straightened me the fuck out and she said that this was a rapper then i got even more pissed <laughs> so check it let me share my screen so i looked at the cop cam video everybody that's in my discord and everybody that's behind my wall know how much i just simply love cop cam videos i love them okay oh lord Mammies, can I ask y'all a question? Why are y'all always fucking drunk? What's the deal? Okay, because I know life can be, you know, life in some time. But to be honest with you, y'all some drunk bitches. Why the fuck are y'all always drunk? It's almost like y'all cannot have a good time without being liquored the fuck up. I have a hypothesis. Would you, would you like to hear it? 
I think that, you know, your reality is so fucked up. So you're trying to escape that shit. Things get a little clear when you're not on the, the bud, the tweeds, and all types of whatever uh, cheap ass liquor y'all making fancy today. Ladies, none of this surprises me about Glorilla, but what did tickle me, I have to, because <laughs> I'm still laughing about the shit. 29 seconds. Y'all finna scream. Go. Let's have new details on the arrest of rap star Glorilla. Okay, so she was arrested for driving under the influence in Gwinnett County. A lot of people talking about this. The 24-year-old rapper from Memphis allegedly failed a sobriety test after running a red light in Suwannee. So the police officer also claims they smelled marijuana coming from the car. Atlanta News First just obtained this new video of Glorilla, whose real name is Gloria Hallelujah Woods. This is when she was taking a mug shot. Woods has since been released on bond. <laughs> oh, shit. That, are they trolling? Is this motherfucking bitch named Gloria Hallelujah? Listen, Aaliyah, take this microphone. Take it away from me, please. I'm begging you. Are you oh, sure? Shit. You, I'm not sure you want to hear from me right now. I let one of the other ladies go because I, I got something I really want to say to go. Okay. I'm listening by uh, yourself. Okay, this is the thing. I'm looking up all this shit, and then I saw she was only 24. So I said, you know what? A Gen X bitch named this goddamn girl Gloria Hallelujah. I'm Gen X. I'm mad at y'all today. No, you did not. No, you didn't. The doctor handed you your beautiful black little baby girl. And you said, you know what? God damn it. Gloria. Hallelujah. Put that on her birth certificate. Effective immediately. I hate everybody. I hate everybody right now. Get me. This is my last live stream. Did you hear what I said? I'm not coming back out here anymore. Mistress Rowe, what you got on her? Because I don't know her. And I don't, I know, don't her. know her. But I can tell you not only was she a Gen Xer named her, but that bitch was a church mammy. That old <laughs> song, Glory, Glory, Hallelujah. You, we've all sung that song. Girl, you know goddamn well not to name your child no stupid shit like that. This is why nobody takes y'all seriously in any stratosphere where y'all go. Y'all motherfuckers, y'all always want to name your kids something fucking outlandish and then, but you need to respect her name. Bitch, you didn't even respect her enough to give her a decent name that was employable. And then this bitch has another. Y'all do realize this is that same rapper that said that she wears only black panties so it has the shit streets in her jaws. No. Does anybody... wait, wait, yeah, wait, this wait, is wait, her. wait, wait. Back up. Say that again. About, I believe, 2021, early 2022, she did an interview and she said she only wears black panties because it has the shit streaks in her jaws. This is that Probably girl. Probably because she's shitty drunk all the time. <laughs> what the fuck are y'all so fucking drunk? You know, if you get away from toxicity, you won't need that much alcohol. What happened to having a cocktail? What happened? One, two, right? And three, if it's your birthday. You motherfuckers take the bottle straight to the head and then be playing in front of people that are trained to spot drunk bitches and say, oh, no, I'm cool. Lady, she was using slang with the, you know what I'm not going to do? Because we do this behind the wall a lot, right? Where we've gone over cop cam videos involving black women and we talked about what not to do. She did everything completely wrong. I'm sorry I had to cut you off, Mrs. Rowe. Do please you, keep going. Let me yes, ask you something. Did she use the racism trope? Well, she said, y'all picking on me. Did okay, well, then she did. Did y'all see the, the cop cam video? She implied that they were stealing from her, that they were broke. She implied that they were going to shoot her. They did. She did. She did it all. But she did it with a smile on her face. Maybe she took a sprinkle, sprinkle course. I don't know on femininity. I don't know. <laughs> I cannot. Can y'all get a new script? Bitch, you got pulled over because you're drunkard. That's what happened. Did nobody pull you over to pick on you? They didn't pull you over because you were broke. You know, rich people get pulled over and thrown in prison too. I don't know why y'all seem to negate that fact. Listen, thank you, Lana. Check it. The girl said to the cop, You don't know, wait, I gotta get my Memphis on. You don't know who I am? I had to take it back five seconds. You know what I'm, I'm like, what is she saying? So I slowed it down. She said, you don't know who I am. The cop had no idea. Ladies, there's a difference between Atlanta and Georgia. Georgia is something different. That lady cop ain't know who the fuck a Glorilla was. Hell, I only knew the name. I didn't know what she did. Right? You don't know who I'm is? 
bitch. You know who I am? I don't either, boo. And me and you are the same race. I'm done. Y'all, in press, press in broadcast. Look, Ebony, I know if I don't know where I know you don't know the bitch. I, I have no idea who this is. Mm, mm. Well, just drunk rapping bitch. That's what we're going to call her. What's going on, Aaliyah? It's your turn. Melanie, cut your, okay. your stuff off, girl. The problem that I'm having with Glorilla is the same problem that I'm having with Megan the Stallion. And if I got to be the auntie to get off in that ass, I don't mind doing that. Hell, it is what it is. And see, I know y'all think that we're just all old and out of touch with reality, but I'm just sick and tired of these beautiful, talented, young black women crashing the fuck out on some stupid shit when they have been given the opportunity of a lifetime to get out the hood and make the type of money that people their age only dream about and yet they keep squandering it by doing stupid and reckless shit and I remember a time when people used to give it to you straight and let you take it however you want nobody mm -hmm. was trying to spare any feelings so if this somehow reaches you glow and you get upset or you feel away I'll be here on next Tuesday still not giving a fuck because I keep rooting for our southern black women artists to change the way the game is currently going so the rap girls can get back to actually rapping and not twerking on some thought shit and y'all keep letting me down and I'm trying to hang in there glow so you and Meg need to get y'all shit together you don't do all that work grinding and getting it out the mud to throw it all away on some bullshit i've been there done that you can have a good time but between you and tiffany haddish i am fucking sick and tired of all this drunk driving y'all got all this money and still refuse to hire personal drivers or use ubers to take you where you want to go to ensure not only your safety but the others on the road and y'all love talking about y'all are grown well it's time to start acting like it and grow the fuck up you can have a good time responsibly and still make sure you get home safe Fuck the bullshit. There is no excuse when you can afford to have someone to take you anywhere you want to go. So again, y'all need to clean this shit up. Now, I did my part. The warning has been issued. It's up to you to heed the warning or not because being young and immature is only going to get you so far. Black women don't get the same passes or allowances and we're not supposed to when you're doing shit that can get you killed or someone else's entire family. Just know that that part nobody's a party pooper um you have the right to be young and have fun what you don't have the right to do is put others in danger okay i don't know why with black folk that you know if it ain't no liquor it ain't no a hey, it ain't no bullshit going on it's not a good time y'all need to kind of review what the fuck is a good time because god damn that girl was sloppy drunk did you hear what i said she got out of the car ladies and her pants were undone. She told the cop she had piss on her hands. Her titty popped the fuck out. She talking about, I'm on your TV. Honey, you not in rural Georgia's TV. I promise you, you're not. They kind of don't watch EBT. You feel me? You feel me? Remember that goofy yeah. bitch? Ladies, I can't. You got just, piss on your hands. Just sloppy, a sloppy mess. Mm -hmm. titties hanging falling all out and shit i mean just just a sloppy mess this shit is fucking embarrassing and like i said it's what the fuck is going on with y'all y'all got too much money for this bullshit are y'all doing you when you start doing great things this self-sabotage that they got going on where they can't get out of their own way i need them to, to cut this shit out lady she asked the cop can i pee on the side of the road <laughs> y'all y'all gonna quit playing in my face you're gonna quit playing in my face um kyra you got anything on this before i move on to sprinkle sprinkle <laughs> no i i was out the loop i've been living under underground or something i don't know but you can go on i don't have anything to add to about this all right glorilla you need to sober up baby girl that girl my son's age post fine now for the real deal, ladies, <laughs> here come the reciprocity. Y'all know every two or three years a white dude kill a black chick. 
right? That, that's just how it is, especially if you got your raggedy ass on them dating apps and that type of shit. But that's a that's a whole nother conversation. Had that conversation on my last live stream. If you want to see it, get behind the wall. Now, the reciprocity is coming. People go, divestment gone wrong. When it's really swirling, gone wrong. Really? Because <laughs> make no mistake about it. Let me tell you something about Lauren. Lauren still fucked with her brother big time. He actually came over there that night she was on that date, but whatever. Divestors, <laughs> we don't fuck with black folk like that. I'm just going to keep it real with you. We, we don't, okay? But since y'all want to keep playing in Divestors' face, let's play in each other's face. Let's give some reciprocity. Let's play footsies tonight. Want to talk about Sprinkle going wrong? Because here's the deal. Y'all got a story about Sprinkle, right? And it was trending on Twitter. Nobody said anything. Why? Because the Sprinkle Sprinkle group, they still fuck with black men. And when black women still fuck with black men, they don't get the clownage that we get. They don't get blamed for everything that we get. They just don't. Okay. Once you take black men off the table, then you become a target. Period. It don't matter if you say the sky blue, they're going to have a problem with what you say because you don't fuck with their sons and brothers and all that shit. I want to know. <laughs> Ladies, there's a group of women out here that told all their business, okay? They have a whole sector of soft life, gold diggers, whatever you want to call it. Sprinkle, sprinkle, all this good shit. And these fools made a whole sector basically announcing that they were coming. You see what I'm saying? When you got some shit going on and you're moving strategic, you're not supposed to talk about it, right? You're not supposed to bring all the girlies out and say y'all fixing to take these men money. Make no mistake about it. You shouldn't be bro fucking with broke men. I said, you shouldn't be fucking with broke men. Here's the deal. If you're aiming high, you ain't supposed to be telling nobody. You brought your ass out here and now these motherfuckers is on the watch out. Huh? You announced it with a bullhorn that you was coming. Sprinkling goes viral and all type of shit. Thanks for letting these so-called men know what's going on. This is the deal, okay? You out here faking pregnancies. You out here doing all type of shit, putting substances in men's drinks and all that shit there, and then to sit on your social media talking about your sprinkling. Well, sprinkling goes wrong a lot of the times. Sugar babying goes wrong a lot of the times, especially when you announce your sugar baby status, you stupid bitch. But anyway... This is the most recent sugar baby that had an incident because I'm giving back. <laughs> I'm showing reciprocity tonight. Why? Why she not getting three million views and that type of stuff? Why are you not warning these women? Kind of like we do over here about dangerous shit that can go down when you do certain shit. Why? Why? I, I'm, I'm waiting on y'all to, to like blame the divestors for this shit. I really am. So she fakes a pregnancy, fakes all this type of shit, and he brings out his text messages about how you was trying to get some old dick off the dude, your, your person that, you know, essayed you. You're texting him talking about bring, him, bring you some more of that dick. Ladies, let me make you aware of something. Nobody is going to give you their money because you're cute in long term. Let me look at my chat. I said, mm -hmm, Nobody's going to give you their money in long term, especially when you announce in the shit. Ladies, do y'all know that men know what sugar babies are? Do you know that they know what these, you know, soft life bitches give, you know, announcing that they're not going to fuck with such and such and so and so? If that's your goddamn standard, then you do so. You do that. Announcing it is dumb bitch shit. This bitch is on her way to prison, ladies. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Here go the goddamn mugshot. It's a cute mugshot. I've seen worse. I've seen worse. Ladies, y'all better knock it off, okay? Men can be very, very dumb. I'll give you that. But they ain't that dumb to come up off they shit if it ain't just for a roll in the hay for a couple of seconds, okay? They'll pay for pussy. But the problem is, y'all done drove the price of pussy down so bad we're opening up your lips everywhere you go. Instead of it being $2,000, it's $100. Pull up. Ladies, I can't with this bullshit. Let's keep going. Then I'm going to let one of the ladies, your booking photo for Darcy.
When I told y'all they see y'all coming, ladies, they see the sprinkle bitches coming. There are women out here who will try and snare you, legal expert warns. Ladies, they've been knowing about you. The problem is you confirmed it when you made your sector of sugar baby and sprinkle people. Huh? Aaliyah, you got anything so far? Why am I not surprised that this fucked up advice on gold digging is getting us fucked up in the game now, if not worse? See, I guess because we've been talking about this shit for months and we keep being met with disdain. It's funny how we're to blame for every single black woman who dates out or swirls if the encounter turns tragic at the hands of a white man. Meanwhile, when the horrible ass dating advice that these pseudo dating coaches keep dishing out goes left. Nobody else ever saw us doing all these live streams and videos trying to imply that they're to blame for any of that shit, nor is any of it about a particular race of man. See, it becomes a public service announcement for all men when it's this type of shit. And that's what I find most interesting because we've always said they'll blame us for absolutely anything, including climate change, inflation, and the hole in the ozone layer. They, they blame us for everything. At the same time, these people are leading these women astray with all this get the bad by any, any means necessary rhetoric. It doesn't matter if he's ugly, stank, old as hell, just as long as he's not broken. I'm sorry, but y'all have been lied to. I hate to break it to you because a lot of this shit is completely absurd now. And a lot of these women that y'all have been following around are looking and sounding like escaped mental patients. And now it's just getting way too dangerous to think you're going to play around with people's time and money. But of course, they're not going to tell you that part. It's just not going to happen, ladies. While you're moving in certain circles and listening to fake ass online gurus who don't have any wins in their own personal lives and relationships. And are there transactional relationships? Absolutely. But you got to understand that there are rules and expectations to that. And those are not going to always be what you think they are. Now, if y'all want to continue to go down this road and do tit for tat about who has it worse, about who's being offered, offering whom more at which rate, we can most certainly do that. And I guarantee y'all that you will run out of news stories long before we will. You want to bet on that? Because hey. I don't really think that's the role y'all want to take. You may want to take a detour and reverse course while you can. Ladies, look at your screen. Aaliyah just ate there, by the way. I had to put that out there. Y'all remember this? Oh, well, this is an affiliate of the most famous sprinkle motherfucker out here. Okay? It's some ladies in my chat right now that have been around long enough to know where I'm going with this. Okay? All right? This is what her little... uh. Thing says, let me scroll up just a taste. All right. It says she's an expert in strategic dating, femininity, and high value men. <laughs> Sound familiar yet? Sound familiar? She's helped thousands of women, right? Transform themselves and start living their best lives. She's focused on one thing for her clients, and that's results. It all starts with a one on one with her. And then it says, book your session now. Well, Houston, we got a problem. Literally, Houston, we got a problem. Dating coach accused of stealing thousands in real estate scheme. Wait a fucking minute. I thought y'all was sprinkling off of these men. Come to find out, a lot of your influencers are getting their money in a secondary way, right? Um, What's this? What's going on? Hold the fucking phone. Are we getting mug shots? Are there mug shots all up in there? What's going on here, femininity coaches? What's happening? Where's the results? Is the ultimate goal of motherfucking booking photo? I'm trying to see something. What's happening, Mistress Rogue? What do you think about the affiliate of the Sprinkle Sprinkle crew? I think that wig was the wig of salvation because that bitch don't look nothing <laughs> like what she looked like on the left. Now, see, I recall DZ a couple months ago. I'm sorry, last year toward the end of the year, we did a live where we were talking about wealthy men and the women that they are attracted to. Mm -hmm. And I also recall a bitch that was not sprinkle, sprinkle, but somewhat sprinkle, sprinkle affiliated, just less sober, um, getting and saying uh, after us, if you want to hear from real millionaires, let me tell y'all bitches something sure. right now. 
I have always been a big proponent of if you want the soft life, you got to build the life you want for yourself. Now, if a man comes along and he enhances that experience and y'all want to take it to the next level, by all means, do that. But y'all are so busy out here trying to snag the man of your dreams, quote unquote, by any means necessary and, and by the most nefarious means necessary, might I add, that you are forgetting the the very thing that you should know is that women will always be the prize, but you can't be the prize if you a dumb bitch. There is no shortcut to this bullshit. Like, you have to work on yourself. You must first be the woman of your dreams before you can be the woman of any man's dreams. Ooh, Do you understand shit. what I'm saying? If there is something about yourself that you feel that is insecure about, if there's something you need to work on, work on that. Y'all act like that it's a man's deed. You meet these men offline and you expect all these fantastical things, especially you black women, because let's be very real. If your own men won't build a community and provide the things that you need and you expect other men of other communities to do that after these motherfuckers and got in their ear and said that you were unworthy, you to be pumped and dumped, you ain't nothing but single mothers, your big backs, why would you expect that from another group of men if your own group of men don't even see you worthy enough to be doing all that stuff for? Get your head out of the clouds. Ladies, there's nothing wrong with having a career. There's nothing wrong with getting an education. There's nothing wrong with being in shape. There's nothing wrong with wearing it's anything you want to be. There's nothing wrong with all the things they say you ought to do. But they got y'all believing that, oh, stop like this. A man takes care of me. And he just gives me money for being pretty. No. There's a name for women who get money from men for transactional relationships. But <laughs> even if we break it down in that regard, black women, you still fare far worse. Because your STI rates are higher. You're out here in the most vulnerable populations operating. You're not given the protection. As a matter of fact, when something happens to a black ex-worker, they usually refer to her in the legal terms as less fucking dead. Get y'all head out of here. I need you to reach behind you, grab your ass cheeks, because your bitches is always twerking. Pull them apart and pop your head out of there. This is hmm. the real world. This is what you're working with. Now do with that what you will. Ladies, we had a coffee break the other day, and that shit was fucking amazing. Ladies, you can do this. OK, but nobody's coming to scoop you up on that white horse and take you away. Ladies, part of the problem is this, right? The sector exists. The sugar baby sector exists. The soft life so-called I'm a kept woman motherfucker exists. I'm trying to see why. Why y'all always getting arrested? Kept women don't they kind of like with the with the boss bitches. They kind of move strategic and don't say much. You don't hear from them about, ladies, can I keep it real with y'all tonight? Usually a bitch that know how to get it, she ain't sharing the knowledge. She gonna let y'all fall flat on her face and she gonna get it. That's just how most bitches are. It just is what it is. They but lady, silence, DZ. Thank you. Don't you don't need to announce your every move. That's the problem with y'all. Y'all want attention by announcing the shit and then you're trying to figure out how the fuck you end up in Sprinkle Sprinkle Land getting mugshot. Now you inmate 64513-664, the Department of Corrections. Like That is not how you work. Boss bitches ain't out here telling all they goddamn business on social media for attention. Ladies, the ones that's playing like they have a soft life in front of you, they're lying. Did you hear what I said? They are lying, okay? They have built a brand to make it seem like I did it, you can do it too, okay? This has always been a safety channel. Whether you're rich or poor, your ass need to be safe, and you do not need to be given whatever resources you have to black men and no man, to be, to, to be honest with you, okay? This is a couple of more influencers, okay? I mean, got the look that is certified Blackistani preference, okay? Uh, ladies, they always have a side hustle. While they telling you they filthy rich driving Bentley trucks and all this shit here, simply from being cute, they're lying to you, right? Hmm. Two emerging influencers arrested with 200 pounds of booger sugar in their floorboards. Ladies, these are gorgeous women. They couldn't even get it done because it's not possible. Here they are now. My girl on the left with that gorgeous picture looks like a well-done meatloaf on the left. And the one on the right looks like she's losing her mind looking at my chat. Okay? Still very pretty women, but they not telling you the truth. These women have these social medias that's making y'all jealous. That's it. That's all. Okay? Now, with all the AI, the filters, and all that extra shit that they got, you don't know what the fuck is going on with these people for real, for real. Those goddamn so-called LLCs and bullshit like that ain't paying the bills, and that's why these bitches end up with goddamn docket numbers. Huh? What you got? Ebony, you got anything on this? <laughs> 
It's sad, uh, ain't it? It's, 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 it's beyond shit. sad because these people are getting on uh, social media and they are posing for the camera in front of a lot of impressionable women. And I'm not just talking about the young ones, apparently, because people are mm-hmm. swallowing this stuff hook, line, and sinker. Okay. Mm-hmm. And that, that's the one dangerous thing. But these, I, I don't understand the, the, the smoke and mirrors. You know, <laughs> I guess you're not going to make any money on if you're, if you're real about anything, I guess. But um, this is dangerous. It, it, it's just like looking at an airbrushed model. On the cover of a magazine, except this is a video. This is sick and sad. Can I tell y'all something? (laughs) The stuff that they're showing to y'all, they're showing it to you because it is indeed damn near unattainable. The average woman who's going to be kept, she's a day-to-day woman who literally doesn't wear all that extra shit, doesn't have all that eyelash and shit going on. Kept women, you're going to find them up at the Whole Foods grabbing a couple things to take to her house if she ain't using Instacart, okay? The average American woman, when she's kept, her husband has a nine to five or he has a above the ground business. It is what it is. These women out here pretending like you're going to snag a millionaire just because you got your BBL done and your hair is slayed. They're sending you straight to hell with goddamn pants on that got gasoline on them. Pull up. Uh, I'm sorry, go ahead, Tyler. Uh, DZ, well, first I was rude earlier. Uh, hey, ladies, sorry for being rude earlier. I didn't greet mm-hmm. y'all. But mm-hmm. what I wanted to say is the issue with the sprinkle sprinkle chicks are that they want to do the, they're trying to appeal to niggas. Like, if mm-hmm. you listen to the sprinkle sprinkle mantras and advice, what is that for? Playing games with niggas. Now, What happens is these chicks listen to the sprinkle, sprinkle shit, but then they try to take it to another group of men and they do the same hood rat shit with Brad and it doesn't work and it blows up in their face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then then they they come out and say, oh, you see when divestment don't work? Listen, divestors ain't prostitutes. Pull up. I said what the fuck I said. Go ahead. And and divestors don't act like hood rats. Mm. You know what else? I also wanted to point out a really a really important fact of the sprinkle sprinkles. Spr- Miss the head sprinkle sprinkle is biracial. So first of all, she's a preference. But you, a phenotypically black woman, are, are trying to follow her methods to get a king, and the king is never going to look at you because you look like a black woman. It is what it is. <laughs> she ain't lying. Go ahead, Aaliyah. I just, you know, I've been told y'all behind the wall how I felt about all this soft life shit. A lot of those women are paying for their own shit and giving those niggas the credit to make him sound like he's doing something, knowing she's most likely footing the bill for everything. They do all this flexing and bragging, thinking somebody's supposed to be jealous or envious of their shit as if what they're getting is somehow supposed to enrich your life. Because foreign is what social media is all about, after all. If if I'm paying for all my own shit, then my life is soft because I pay for it to be, not because of anything you did. So you won't be getting any credit for that. Let's be clear on that. But that's not what they're doing. That's like the black girl in luxury movement, just a bunch of fun. And see, I don't buy any of that shit. These people record the best parts of their lives. They can then edit out the things they don't want you to see in here. Mm -hmm. And boom, you have created another whole life for yourself online, trying to make everyone think that you're rich and fabulous. And maybe you are. But let me guess, I'm just, hey, because see, I told our ladies a long time ago to stop listening to these folks sitting up selling y'all shit that they were giving for free to promote. I'm not going to say I've never purchased anything that a content creator suggested, but I'm just saying I know exactly what it is. And some of that shit I'm never going to spend my hard-earned money on. I'm not buying a $500 steak just to prove I can, nor am I buying a $500 bottle of perfume just to prove I can. No designer will be getting that much of my money. I don't care what your name is. And if that makes me broke, I will be that. In fact, I'll be $500 richer from keeping my money in my pocket (laughs) that you spent trying to impress other people you don't fucking know and this is why i say a lot of you need to pull your heads out of your ass and get real about it a lot of you are not being realistic at all Mm. i want to see their credit report 
that part. That's what I want to see because I'm pretty sure a lot of you bitches are charging everything to credit cards that y'all are paying off very slowly. You're paying the minimum balances if you are paying it at all. Then let's not forget when bitches was eating gold steaks when they got them PPP loans. Yeah. But that, you know, because, you know, that was ancient history. But I also recall, DZ, with regard to what you said about the kept women, kept women, like, I'm pretty sure we said this a while back, but I'm going to reiterate it. A lot of your kept women are very intelligent. These women are college educated. They got their own education. And then their husbands came along and said, you know what? You've done good. Let me sit your ass down. This is what you can do. That, that's we typically how it go. Yeah, we, we already talked about, about that. On that coffee break. It just is what it is. Ladies, look at the results. It's not working. It's not working. The people that's sending you to that, they're going to jail. Would you please take a look at that screen? gorgeous girl by the way dust is global okay all of this shit that black women are on since the www dot it's it's all over the world now they used to associate certain shit with americans and you know shit like people in the west and that type of shit but she's gorgeous okay and she said let's let, let, let's take a look at her shirt real quick beautiful woman okay it seems like they like to call us self-haters but when she thinks of a beautiful woman, she thinks just like a king. She thinks white woman. We ain't going to get into all of that. But let's talk about this influencer here and what's going on with her. Okay? Ladies taking pictures outside of New York. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> hey, sprinkle, sprinkle. Taking pictures on top of expensive cars. I mean, legs out in front of another expensive car. And ladies, she takes these type of pictures all the time. She also gives talks those motivational speaking right gigs to tell other women how to be just like her and how everything is going to be okay if you just keep yourself fit you work hard and somebody gonna help you with the shit somebody asked her on an interview right they said how do you make all this money and she said you just go hard every day the interviewer was like, I do go hard every day. Where the, where the hell are you getting this money from? And she didn't have an answer. She just kind of did the soft, like, you know, smile and grin, head nod, and then fucking deflect. That's just what the fuck they do. Right? DC? This part. Influencer is extradited to U.S. in $2 million romance scam targeting older single Americans. That's called sugar baby and bitch. Ladies, it ends in a mug shot, shot all the goddamn time. It's not real. Whenever you stopped believing in Santa Claus, it probably was a little, you know, tough for your, for your little heart. Ladies, this is Santa Claus. I said, this is Santa Claus. It does not happen. I heard you call my name. Ms. Yeah, it was me. Nothing worth getting is easy. Did you hear what I said? Nothing worth getting is easy. Okay. No, it's not. Now, these smoke and mirrors that these, you know, preening in front of the cars and all this, you know, taking pictures of their food. I don't know. But it's, it's, it's like the minute the WW dot thing started, people started putting up fake, fake ass. This is who I am. And it's all fake. Everybody wanted to be some kind of actor. OK, and these people are acting. They're acting. The they're, they're not, they don't even Ebony, have real jobs. Sometimes Ebony, they're Ebony, acting. Ebony, the problem is bitches are believing it. OK, and they're getting people hurt. And we're going to get to that part in a second. Ladies, this is not it. OK, why do y'all think everybody always got their face down in a device? Because they're trying to escape. I'm, I'm so scared for when virtual reality becomes the norm because people are literally going to be malnutrition, de dehydrated and all type of shit because they can't stand real life. Ladies, this is not real life, okay? And if you let these women get you into some of this shit, you are going to live a broken life. I'm sorry, not the fuck sorry, you see, because this is a bad day right here. Miss Sprinkle Sprinkle, right? She ended up with a cop on her right hand and then she had a Harambe cop on the other hand. That's a bad day in my opinion. She's having a real real bad day right here i'm trying to ask y'all a question when y'all gonna stop this nonsense when you gonna stop it classically mm -hmm. yes ma'am i have ebony made me think of something do y'all know that their entire like these bitches do not be owning those cars you can actually rent these cars to take pictures in front of there's a fake private jet place out in la where you influencers have been caught 
like faking private flights and most of them have been them sprinkle sprinkle bitches so they not leave living this life either it's all um, all the world's a stage to these bitches they just terrible actors the only reason this is happening tonight ladies is because usually i'll ignore right motherfuckers trying to blame shit on divestors because that's what they're gonna do they black women that don't deal with black men they're gonna catch the brunt of it from that community fuck that community by the way fuck your black kids fuck fuck everybody over there i said what i said it's fuck all of you at this point now this is some get back because this type of shit it doesn't go viral this is the type of shit that they these motherfuckers in that community wait until something bad happens to a black woman that they don't have a, a, a good word for pull up and then everybody wants to talk about it we're gonna talk about all this shit in the coming weeks since you want to fuck with divestors, this is the thing. The black community is an easy target. It really is. I always show black women getting fucked up by niggas and they still don't give a fuck. So what you think showing me a once every three year event supposed to do, you funky whore? What is that supposed to do? Okay. All you got to do is go to these home pages of these YouTube channels that do crimes on black femicide and look at the stats. Just look at the home page and see who the fucking problem is. That's all you got to do. Click that tab where it say videos and it's nigga after nigga after nigga after nigga after nigga after nigga. So y'all want to play this? It's they fault game. Let me tell you who got a real problem out here, bitch. Y'all are not living this sprinkle sprinkle life. I'm just going to confront you and tell you you're not doing it. Pull up on me. Let's go. Again, <laughs> global. Y'all say y'all want black men to build something and run something? Well, it seems like when they do run shit, you can't sprinkle. All this goofy bitch did was write a goddamn book on how to sprinkle, right? And they locked her motherfucking ass up. He down here uglier than a motherfucker and she looking like Kid Cudi. Listen, I'm not playing with y'all, okay? Those of you that continually send me nonsense, it's cute, but I got other shit to do. You know what the black community gives? I know what the fuck it gives. OK, we usually come out here, talk about what's happening with black women, how to get the fuck away from that community and safety and so on and so forth. And we have a few laughs. See, but what you're not going to do is keep throwing stones at our camp and not get the same goddamn boulder sent the fuck back. Pull up. Aaliyah, what you got? I guess I'm seeing the theme here tonight is that all these bitches are going to jail, okay? That seems to be a, <laughs> they, they, they sitting up here got you thinking that what they're doing is so fucking fabulous. Then you saying there's a whole bunch of scheming, frauding, defrauding people, lies, thievery, and all kind of shit going on behind the scenes. And yes, these bitches are indeed going to jail. So let that be a lesson. To the to young women that see now watching this shit, envying these people. Oh, I guess it should be clinkle, clinkle. <laughs> I can't. Uh, yeah, I'm I can't. Get with these bitches. I can't. Um, before I uh, call on someone else, <clears throat> y'all trying this in Kenya too? Oh, because www dot stands for World Wide Web. It's spread. And you want to talk about unaliving, do you? I don't think you want to do that. I don't think you want to do that. And then you're going to bring Africa into it. Bitch, you are out of bounds. Do not, do not try to come after interracial daters or divesters for that matter. Because make no mistake about it, that's two different things with unaliving, fucking around and finding out. You going to be going on for years after we are out of gas day two. Okay? Y'all better stop playing. If your people thought this could happen for real, the warnings would come up too. The warnings would, there would be a video about the warnings and the dangers of this shit. Check my repertoire. We've warned you about white powder donut dusties, haven't we? Oh, but you go to sprinkle them. Ba sugar baby, and it don't have no unalivings and that type of shit. It's just money all over the place. Tofu, uh, the, it's just good champagne, nice car. That's when you know a bitch line. Pull up on me. Kyra, do you have anything? I just, look, I'm a little bit confused, and this might sound discriminatory, but I don't really care. What gold is there to dig in Kenya? Like, he has a bigger <laughs> mud hut than that dude. Like, what is there to do? Like, oh, this one over here has a giraffe in his backyard, and 
That one does. I'm like, what is there to do? Uh, oh, Tyra, it honey, it's under the mattress. You know it is. <laughs> oh, I know what it is. Remember, this house has a toilet, but that dude doesn't. That's what you're doing, trying to gold dig to get a man who has a toilet, a running toilet in his <laughs> Girl, stop. <laughs> you know what, Kyra? I'm glad you asked. Where gold is at a dig in Kenya? Because they actually do quite a, have quite a bit of gold and iron and steel and titanium and gemstones and water and wildlife. And all of that is owned by the Asian man. Oops. Let me put yeah. my thing up here because somebody named Mocha Bun, I feel like the FBI is it, very appropriate given the fact that you sprinkle bitches are ending up in the clink. Pull up. Mocha bun. Are you dusty? All right, mocha bun. I'm getting rid of you because uh that part. Ladies, I ain't, I'm not playing this game tonight. Let's get it. Let me get the FBI off of here. Mocha bun, next time you called on, make sure that you say something. You can ask my ladies behind the wall. I don't I don't have a lot of patience with that mute button. Go right ahead. No, I just wanted to add to what Mr. Stroh was saying earlier. Like you said, we pretty much touched on all of this during our coffee break behind the wall. But the thing is, and we've talked to touched on it before on this channel too. You got to understand that a man of means is not looking for a broke ass bum bitch. Understand mm, that. that. That's part. why Mr. Stroh said, get your shit together first and be the woman that you need to be before you go out looking for certain shit. And that's a fact. That mm. way, can't nobody hold shit over your head when the time comes because because hey, when the time comes, he's not doing shit for you that you are not more than capable of doing for yourself. So you can't cut me off and make my life harder. I don't give a fuck about none of that. You get your shit together first and then the, the man will just come. That's what a lot of women gonna have to eventually learn. Stop hunting men like you're hunting treasure. And let them come find you. Get your shit together. Work on yourself. And the man will come. That, But you know what? That's not what Black Astan wants Black women to learn. They want you to operate from that scarcity mindset where you think that these niggas are actually finna go somewhere and that they're the only men in the world. And that, okay, whatever. But the thing well, I don't is, know, Ali, no. it's... Uh, Here's a, before y'all uh, do y'all thing. If y'all wanted to see that pregnant woman that thought she was going to play somebody for her for their money, there she is. Okay, well, it's very sad. R.I.P. to her and her unborn child. But they are out here playing games out here. Okay, per perching their lips out and acting a goddamn fool, like my sister Leah says, mouth looking like a baboon's ass, telling you to go out here and do all this shit. Wait, wait, oh, Lord, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, I mean, yes, R.I.P. And I know it's bad to speak ill of the dead and all, but what the dead? If you was a bitch when you was alive, you a dead bitch now. Keep going. Well, where, where, it, where her are her edges? Like, what is going on? Like, well, she's got that Pepto Bismol lipstick on. <laughs> oh <So>. God. <laughs> Y'all want to know something? I think these dumb bitches just don't understand. This is why I'm a big proponent and I'm like in preparing black women, especially the younger black women in my family, of having your own. Because there is something about a woman that has her own. When I walk into a room, I don't have to say a damn thing. Hold, my on, presence a is oh, hold, hold on a second, Mrs. Shro. Uh, Fantasy Island girl, tr real spill, because she got the shock emojis up here. What about dying makes somebody unbitch? I'm trying to see something. If you got a funky bitch that was on some bullshit when she was walking around here with a pulse, what about her transitioning, like some like to call it, makes her unbitch? How what 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 that do? How that happen? I'm trying to see something, okay? Cause see, this is why people in the black community, Fantasy Island girl, still doing what the fuck they do. They think that they can run around, cause havoc, leave babies all over the place, get a criminal record, have all type of victims all over the place, and when he die, respect the dead. There needs to be consequences. You will not have me on this side of the realm respecting you when you was a bitch when you had a pulse. They didn't have respect for themselves and lives. Why do respect motherfuckers who didn't even respect their own lives? They didn't respect anybody else's existential experience. If they did, you wouldn't have to constantly remind them about noise control. You wouldn't have to constantly remind them about taking care of the kids that they leave behind in the world. You wouldn't have to constantly remind them to be a functioning fucking human being. You gotta have a job and a purpose and a place to stay. Listen, fuck these people. I don't give a fuck about you being dead or alive at this point because that's the hill you chose to die on. So rest in peace. I'm not yeah. about to be nice about a motherfucker who died when they were an asshole in life now you're just a dead asshole 
I'm trying to see something. Is that why black women like Christianity so much? Did you want you want me to go there? Because at the very last minute of your life, all you got to do is I accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. And then you boom, you go straight to heaven. Is that why? Because see, this is the, I'm not playing that game. I'm not playing that game with folk. I'm not. It's oh. time for fun. Hold on, Ebony. Time for fun and game is it, it, it's the fuck over. I'm sorry. If I, I, I want to answer for real, I'm looking at the chat. What about dying unbitches you, unniggers you? Nobody, nobody got nothing. Okay, go right ahead, Mrs. Rope. Thank you. But as I was saying before, when you have your shit together as a woman, the right kind of men will be attracted to you. OK, I'm, I never went looking for a man. Men always found me. They were the ones who always found me. And I was always at the top of my game. I made sure that I had a certain standard for myself. I knew where I wanted to be professionally. I had my education. I was well traveled. I was diplomatic. I knew what I needed to be because that version of me was the woman of my dreams. That's who I wanted to be. So when I walked into a room in men were drawn to me it wasn't because I was on some sprinkle sprinkle shit I was in there on my authentic self and I was paying them no mind that was I was in my own world stop looking for love I'm not saying you don't deserve love dare I say black women deserve love just as much as any woman if not more so because y'all are always on this Jesus Christ I'm the sacrifice I'm the martyr type shit I'm telling you to work on yourself first if you first become the woman of your dreams then the man of your dreams will find you you can't be a piece of a person looking for somebody to make you whole or just fucking take care of you girl you are not sleeping beauty you are not a Disney princess. We've seen how the fuck that ended. If you look at the, read the Grim Tales, you'll know you don't want to be none of them bitches any motherfucking way. I implore you, black women, please work on yourselves and get the fuck off the internet and shut the fuck up. I know I say this at nauseum, but you bitches are fucking up the brand. A lot of times this whole sprinkle sprinkle shit would not have gotten nearly as big and blown up nearly as much if there weren't dumbass black women believing and amplifying the bullshit. Get offline and shut the fuck up. Stop giving everybody the playbook and then running around complaining because other bitches is playing the game that you started better than you. Mm, it's a damn shame it's a bloody mess okay you're telling too much of your business if you want some gold digging shit why tell anybody nobody's gonna voluntarily let you dig their gold that's so goddamn dumb okay pc yes ma'am i just want to say one thing here if you not ex if you're not spoon fed if nobody's feeding you they cannot starve you did you hear what I said? I if did, ma'am. That we say that shit all the fucking time. Yeah. Man, look, at this, look at this shit. Sugar Baby's the made business insider. Y'all are so fucked up in the game. I told y'all before. You think no nobody see y'all, okay? Business insider writing about you. Y'all think y'all in a bubble. Y'all talking all this shit, even with your little tiny accounts, right? Okay. They see you. White people are immaculate record keepers. I want you to always remember that, okay? And I've already talked to the ladies about what to do concerning their past and all that shit there. Ladies, listen. It says sugar babies whose daddies die are often seen as gold diggers, but reality of losing a baby, I'm sorry, I almost said baby daddy. Oh, Freudian slip. Losing a daddy can be excruciating. Ladies, listen, okay? They see you coming. Your Instagram tell all your business, but let's hit some highlights real quick because this is a long ass article and Business Insider drag the shit out of you motherfuckers, okay? In popular TikToks, people joke about sugar babies celebrating inheritances when their daddy dies. It is a joke. You bitches are a joke. You telling all your business for no goddamn reason. Ladies move in stealth and in silence, right? Okay. But sugar babies who've lost their daddies, right, said they struggled struggled with both grief and loss of income looking at the chat carisha report to the front i'm playing huh 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 carisha <laughs> listen listen ladies it's not working it's not going to work all you're going to do is give these influencers football numbers that's it that's all they're going to be living some sort of life that's softer than yours but the one that they're presenting it's not happening loss of income is devastating how dare you make a motherfucking man your plan a and you didn't have a plan b bitches i've been married for damn near 30 years and i still got a plan b bitch if he start acting the fuck up 
Y'all better get it together. These women not going to tell y'all the truth. They're not. OK, they often can't attend daddy's funeral and said, I can't. They said their friends laughing at their losses because it's funny, bitch. It's funny. You are sucking a dick that cannot get erect and have not been able to get erect in the uh, 2000s. And you want us to grieve with you. Suck me sideways. That's what you do. Go ahead, Mr. Shro, because it sounds like you got something to say. Yes, I'd like Harisha Romika to report to the front of the classroom because this bitch was all over TikTok when P.E.E. Diddy was on the top on the top of the mountaintop, shall we say? And she was flossing about how she got all this stuff. He bought her Chanel. He gave her a five hundred thousand dollar allowance and blah blah blah. So she is a famous sugar baby that was accused of some rather egregious shit. And this is the bitch that y'all was listening to them, them city girl bitches. Well, that one city girl bitch. I don't know about the other girl but this i don't understand why but just black women get new heroes there is the, other wrong. One, the other one mr rogue is a breadwinner all these bitches are playing in y'all but here's the thing if you if you're comfortable because i'm all into my body my choice if you want motherfuckers playing in your face then go right ahead i have to you know give you the warning though okay because bitch has been playing in divestors faces for a long time that community has nothing to offer it's in shambles and it can't give you any advice if you still play if the if your advisor is still playing around in the muck with these motherfuckers they can't give you any advice sorry not sorry so we did rich right we did mid-class and even you po bitches it ain't working out for you you sitting up here <laughs> Since the feminine wiles and all the extra biracial shit ain't getting it done, you done resorted to putting a little bit of substance in motherfuckers' cups. These two bitches right here doing a bid for stealing $85,000 off of uh, several men because when he didn't give it to you, it's time to steal, right? Because the sprinkle, sprinkle life is mandatory, okay? I can't. I can't. Aaliyah, you got anything? I'm just, this girl okay. wouldn't even look at the damn, go ahead. The pattern is the same. Bitch is going to jail, but I, I don't even know why you pulled up this picture. Because you <laughs> know I got to go there. This wig here, this is what you don't do with um, black women for her shade. I'm tired of y'all doing this shit. If you're going to wear wigs, and this is just a piece of advice. If you're going to wear wigs, please get something that's going to complement your shade. You don't have no business walking around here. I really, really wish the majority of black women would knock it off with these crazy ass colors, especially all this blonde and all this other shit. Aaliyah, you know what they're going to say? They're going to pull up those okay. pictures from 1996 with those kids that were black on that island with blonde hair. People, Black people are born with blonde hair, but here's the fact of the matter. No. Those pictures, those kids' hair was sun bleached. Pull up, keep going. Yeah, but I, I just please knock it off because some of y'all have no idea. Well, maybe you do. Perhaps nobody told you. Y'all need to stop it with some of these colors. It's not really complimenting your skin tone and it don't really look as good as you think it looks. And I mean, you could take that however you want to take it. I'm just telling y'all the truth. Y'all need to knock it off with some of these weird colors. Look at her. That looks a mess. I think Aaliyah, though, I mean, back, back, I think Mary J. Blige kind of started that blonde trend a long time ago, you know. That's a yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> she, yeah, she was she was a hood rat, but with these ladies, it's like I'm a hoe, I'm a hoe, off to jail I go. It's it's she looks like a. <laughs> 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 oh. I want to also add. A, I gotta go on mute. I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. I just wanted to add two things. First of all, if you're trying to do that sugaring thing, your appearance is important. So take care of that acne and the beard hairs. Like, you know, I don't understand why women who happen to get a beard hair or a mustache don't understand the concept of wax. Like, wax that shit off. That and, and if you, I, I'm sorry, go ahead. And Real lastly, quick. if you're going to sugar, you're supposed to get ass, assets in your name, not flexing on getting a, you know, a, a brand new purse or even a car. Like you're supposed to get real assets. That's why you're broke. Cause you all, all of the social media flexing about having the latest Birkin bag or some shit. And you don't have a house or anything with hardcore value in your damn name. 
DZ, it doesn't happen. Notice that that bitch DZ, that half Asian bitch with the five baby daddies. And ladies, this is things that have been said about me. Pull up, right? Take a gander real quick. Maya Brunson turned 20 in June, a joy to be around. She can make you smile right away. The day of the murder. Police say Brunson met up with a married man she'd been seeing, Sutan Sharif. Strangely, he'd reached out to Brunson's mom a week earlier. He goes on to say, I want to be done messing with your daughter, but she's reaching out to my wife. September 24th, a friend of Sharif's called 911 after he says he saw Sharif on top of the victim in Sharif's car and that the female stated he my throat. She was screaming and pleading for help. Police didn't locate the two then, but hours later were called to an alley near Keith and Palmer where Brunson had been tied, shot, and then set on fire. She was everything to She was everything to You knew what your daughter was doing. Ladies, that's one that's gone, right? But we got us a sugar baby in the house tonight. That's going to give you a warning. She still got a pulse and she got the fuck out as soon as she could. Right. You, you got one minute and 41 seconds to spare. I hope you do because you want to hear this, you sugar baby bitch. And sugar babies have come after divestors, too, by the way. I just want to put that out there. What you got to say, ma'am? Story time over how you should think twice about using an old fuddy duddy for his money because you just never know who you're dealing with. This was my look at that time. So Leslie was introduced to me by some girls that I worked with in the clothing store, but I was also working the club, so I was all about my bag. Leslie wanted to do things with me, but I wasn't having it, but I was making him pay all of my bills to kind of string him along. I went out with him a few times, and he would try to hold my hand and rub up on me, but I was just like, no, 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 I'm not ready for that yet. So this is going on for months and months, and he's really getting frustrated. Now, at one point, he lied about paying my bills, and I was low-key pissed. Actually, I was absolutely pissed i cursed him out and i cursed him out so bad that he was crying i was like i don't want to hear from you no more i don't want to see you no more just get out of my life we're not friends anymore we're never going to do anything you're nothing to me and i just i cut him off and by the way i cursed him out at night in his car when we were about 20 minutes away from my house and I made him take me home. Fast forward down the line, the girls are telling me, oh, he got a body double, he got a girl that looked just like you, she looks just like you, she wears her hair the same and everything. And I was just like, okay, and so I'm happy for him, whatever, she can get his money, I don't care. But then a few months after that, I got some really shocking news about Leslie and this girl. He strangled her to death. And this is her. Yeah. Think twice, ladies. It's not worth it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I ain't got to say much about that. That's the part that they don't show you. Since everybody throwing unalivens out here and want to you know do four five videos and uh uh uh, uh, uh i gotta go live because the powdered donut then came from this dating app on the first date let's go ahead and do this ladies the we have struck goal then let's talk about it let's talk about it all because you won't get nothing like that anytime soon um, it, listen ladies please be careful again safety channel nobody's just gonna hand you their shit without getting something in return. That's little girl thinking. I thought I had a whole bunch of grown women out here. Are we going grown women or no? Stuff costs, right? And if you get something, oh, there will be something in exchange. Nobody's going to pay you just to look at you. Aaliyah? And I, can I just keep it real for a second? This some disgusting, nasty ass advice these women giving. Oh, it don't matter if he old as hell, if he ugly as hell. I'm sorry, but I cannot be bothered with somebody I am not even remotely attracted to. People can say what the fuck they want to say, but looks matter in a relationship. Am I saying he got to be the finest person in the world? Don't get me wrong. Looks are subjective. What looks good to one person may not necessarily look good to the next. It's just all a matter of perspective, what you like. And, and you know, some everybody don't like the same thing. But to sit out here and just tell these girls to get these kind of men, let's just be real. Men want to fuck, okay? Men <laughs> want they dick suck. Ain't no way in hell I want to look. You're not finna come over to my house. I'm not finna come over to yours for you to look for me to look in your ugly ass face. 
You not climbing in this bed for me to look in your ugly ass face. I'm not attracted to you if you old as hell. I don't want your shrivel up dick nowhere near me, much less my mouth. I'm not fucking you. So I'm not finna sit here and lie and play this game with you just so I can get your money if I'm not attracted to you. I don't want to sleep with you. I don't want to have sex with you or none of that. So I don't know why these women sending these girls on these missions knowing that that they're doomed to fail. It's a failed mission from the jump. You fucking around with somebody you're not even attracted to, somebody you don't see yourself having sex with, and you already know that if this man is putting money in your pocket and paying your bills and your school tuition or whatever it is he's doing for you, he's doing shit, he's going to want something in return. The question is, how far are you willing to go and are you willing to give Aaliyah, that shit one up? of these bitches, I, I promise you, one of these whores said, you thinking like a child if you don't have sex with him, he's paying your bills. Ladies, that's prostitution. <sighs> that, who who cares if he ugly? Remember, you told me old girl was on you know Fox Soul, and she up there talking about how she don't care how they look and all this shit here. Can we keep it real again tonight? Uh, this is an unpopular opinion, but it's true. Pull up and fight me about it if you want to. Pretty people, right? Handsome people, they get more leeway. Ugly people, when they do shit wrong, they piss you off quicker. I'm looking at the chat. I said. Okay, ugly people piss you off quicker. Okay, you're gonna have to be a real G for this limp dick, shriveled up, ain't got a circumcision ass nigga up there, ugly talking shit. And you got to talk about it's exactly. true because <laughs> you piss me off. Are you gonna want to hear what I got to say about you? Because then that's when the truth gonna come out. If you don't get your ugly ass somewhere and sit the fuck down and stop talking to me, I know something. <laughs> and you're going to say that out loud without even meaning to. It's just that he, his ugly ass pissed you off in that moment. And it's going to come out. And I, that's why I say, you know, and like I said, I know looks are subjective. I don't need nobody coming to the comment section saying beauty's in the eye of the beholder. I understand all of that. I'm just saying that shit that these folks putting out there is fucked up. And if you sit down and you're really, really being real with yourself as women, if you're really, really being real with yourself, if you asking yourself, is this somebody I want to fuck? Uh, absolutely not. I don't. <laughs> you're supposed to be. You supposed to be wanting to do it for the money, though, Aaliyah. That's part of the sprinkle course. You no, know? I'm sorry, my <laughs> shit gonna be dry as the Sahara Desert. I can't well, do it. You got that let, part, Aaliyah. You gotta let him spit some of that fixidin on it. It'll get you wet. Pull up. <laughs> 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 DZ, oh, damn. DC, these niggas don't take care of the, the teeth, so you're going to have a, a woman getting gingivitis in her coochie. I, too, am like you, Aaliyah. I'm one of those people. I have to be able to look at you. If I roll over and you look like an a eye eye that got caught in a forest fire, I'm not going to be able to do anything. Ugly people do not turn me on. I am sorry. I have a certain type and a, cer a certain aesthetic, and typically there's a certain intellectual threshold you have to meet, too, because you can't just be pretty and dumb. Like, Ooh, there's oh, certain yes. <laughs> that, I can't stand yeah. a stupid ass person. Oh. My thing, though, is let's say you're actually successful and as a sugar baby and you get that rich husband, you're really going to pass on those ugly ass jeans to your children? <laughs> <laughs> like, damn. Like, you're supposed to be forward thinking. Like, you, come on, we've all seen it. Some ugly ass babies and they, they look just <laughs> like their father. Looking like newborn well, ear cats, just ugly and hairless. And we, I've seen women who were successful at it, but what they did was this. The hundreds of thousands of dollars that they did get, these were white women, all right? They put that mess in the bank. <laughs> they got property. Like, like you guys were saying, they got substantial things. And then they just moved on. Uh, th th there's no way in the world anybody could do this from Blackistan. No. Or in Blackistan. There's no way to do it. It can't be done. You're going to end up probably dead more often than not. And even like, some of those white women didn't work didn't work out for them either. It's just a shit culture. You you need to be able to sustain yourself. If all else fails, you need to be able to stand the fuck up because you did what you had to do. And your debit card is just glistening, bitch. That's just how that's supposed to go. While they were trying to get at us, the sprinkle bitches, the sugar baby bitches, the oh my God, white men do it too, ass bitches. Ladies, there was a black man, right? filling up his daughter's baby bottle with antifreeze. 
right? Nobody mentioned it. Nobody had anything to say about it because we got to get at this white boy real quick, okay, from this date now, okay? It was a baby girl. I want you to think about that. The baby girl, on my community tab, I said, the you know, those were grown women. I said, y'all didn't qualify. But the baby didn't qualify either, bitches? No? Okay, well, you're going to hear about it tonight, uh, black man. Uh, he didn't want to pay child support. This story is corny as fuck, but it's sad at the same time. Let's get it. Welcome back. New developments in the case of a father convicted of trying to murder his newborn daughter. He told police he put antifreeze in the child's milk because he did not want to pay child support. A judge sentenced that father to 50 years in prison. Tell you, Taisha Fernandez is live in South Fulton, where she spoke to the lead detective in this case exclusively today. Taisha, this was a tough case for investigators, and I know for you as well to cover today. It was tough for everybody. You know, many of the investigators, Karen, are parents themselves. You know, I'm a parent myself, so everyone has just been disgusted by this father's actions, especially because he appeared to have some remorse, confessed to police, but then took it back. Today, I had the privilege to talk to the child's mother. She's not ready to talk about the conviction just yet, but she did tell me the child is doing okay. It hit home because it was an 18-day-old baby. South Fulton. Mm -mm. Fuck him, too. He's dusty as fuck. I said all. But ladies, you got to think about it. The baby got ignored. Here's the deal. When we say these motherfuckers are dusty, they dusty. She probably thought, and I'm just guessing here, that he was trying to be a most involved father, picking up his baby and fixing her a bottle. Oh, my God. How sweet. Again, fat meat is greasy. Right? And the baby's getting antifreeze in their bottle. Ladies, this whole story got skipped the fuck over. And you look out here at what got millions of views, and I want y'all to remember that shit. Why some people came off of mute, right, after being gone and doing live streams and all that good shit because they found them a white boy from a dating app that fucked up a sister. Okay? I want y'all to harken back a mm, couple years ago with Lauren. Okay? I want y'all to remember that shit, even though ain't nobody been arrested for that shit. We, we just going to play the game with everybody. No, nobody else matters when it's time to keep you in that black community. Whenever there's going to be a chance to keep you in the black community, these motherfuckers are going to pounce on it. Ladies, black women want you to think that black men are just as good as white men. The fact of the matter is they're not. OK, they're using white men's spaces, their their uh, services, their streaming platforms and all that shit to tell you that their men are better. You got to look at what that looks like. OK, any motherfucking way. Mistress Rogue, you got anything on this? I got somebody. In yes, the I do. Um, do you recall last year as well? There was a motherfucker that slammed his baby down in the Walmart, correct? Go mm -hmm. back with me. And then prior to that, there was a motherfucker that threw his, what, three-day-old baby off a bridge who was also a girl. Why do you all keep procreating with the, <laughs> the forever inferiors? And shout out to the bitch on TikTok that got mad when I called them forever inferiors. Now that I know it makes you bitches mad for me to refer to your cicadas and your pet harambes that way, they are now dubbed the forever inferiors. Why do you keep procreating with motherfuckers who do not build? Why do you reward them with legacy they do not want? Why do you deal with them at all? And in the time, of, and the, you white men do it too, bitches. Y'all, y'all report to the front as well because while white men were doing <laughs> that one thing, that one crime, how many crimes did black men do? How many unalivings Girl. took place at the hand of black men? So if you die every four point eight hours and there's twenty four hours in the day, it's safe to say that what three, four black women died. That I mean, I'm sorry, went away. They transitioned that day by the hand of a black man. There will never be a comparison between the two. There will never be any parallels that can truly be drawn. It is apples and motherfucking oranges. One white powdered failed donut dusty does not equate and expunge black men from all the they, wrong they and shit they do. They know that. You know what it is, um, Mr. Shrogue? It's because they play like they don't know that. I know they know that. Their actions say that they know that because they didn't talk about any other woman the what past two months. And all of a sudden, you're into black femicide. That's interesting. And, and y'all that was in my um community wall, shout out to y'all because y'all saw through that bullshit. And I appreciate that. Uh, it, it just encourages me that there's women out here that get it, okay, and see the mule catching antics. The shit is crazy as fuck, okay? Let me put this up here real quick and see what's going on in the back. Go right ahead.
Now, I will say this about the Lawrence Smith Field situation. I real, I did notice that everybody went radio silent on that as soon as her maker ass brother's um, role in that had came into question. And he actually had become one of the suspects in mm -hmm. that case. As soon as he they brought him into it, you hadn't heard anything else about it. I will. I just wanted to point that out. But see, when it comes to this particular story here, how many of us are really surprised in the chat? Raise your hand. Anybody? Because I really don't think nobody over here is honestly surprised. When have these niggas ever wanted to take care of their own children? I guess they have now figured out that it's just much easier now to just off the baby and That's be done shame. with it. That's I mean, I, I I wouldn't say that giving an infant antifreeze is the kindest of death seeing as how the baby was essentially being slowly poisoned by someone who was supposed to be their protector. So your system may not react right, right away. So it takes a little time. You'll get extremely ill before all of your organs start shutting down, especially yep. your brain, lungs and kidneys. See, this was not a quick death by any means. It was unaliving, very cruel. Girl, unaliving. I mean, it, it was very cruel. I'm sorry, unaliving. It, it was very cruel, but this is some shit because this is some shit that you put in your radiator to keep the coolant from freezing. So it's full of hazardous chemicals that are not fit for human that baby, consumption. That baby must be a G because she survived. Believe it or not. Oh, she did. Yes. I was about to say because so people don't. She gonna grow up and be she gonna grow up and be amazing because she wasn't supposed to make that through that. Okay, it only take a little bit to fuck you up. Yes, and that's what I was about to say. And I'm glad to know that baby actually made it. I'm surprised she must be a tough little cookie because most people mm -hmm. don't even treat animals that way. Exactly. Jess, I'm coming back there, so get yourself together. Jess, are you dusty? All right, Jess. The uh oh, I got removed her too fast. Let me bring her back. That finger is quick. Hey, are you dusty? Uh, no, I'm not dusty. Okay, what you got? I was just calling in to just agree with the topic. Um, I'm just I've been listening in and I've been in the comment section as well. Um, I have a couple of other ideas, but I I want I know you're mid sentence kind of talking about this video, so I'll hold off. Okay, if it's ideas and stuff like that, girl, you got to get off in the Discord. We talk about everything back there, including your panties. Pull up, okay? <laughs> we we gonna stay on topic tonight. You gotta get behind the wall so you can get with the gossip and all that good shit. All the shit where we got our legs, you know, up on yeah. the up on the couch and chilling. Hmm? Absolutely, I'll join the Discord. <laughs> All right. Thank you, babe. I appreciate your support. Thank you. DC? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Everybody knows what a train wreck mm -hmm. uh, black folks are. Yes. Everybody knows what black men bring. Everybody knows uh, that a lot of women are just choosing this at this point. I bet you anything that child would end up in that man's hands again if he had not ended up in jail. Yeah. They Second don't chance. learn. This is what I don't get. Even from high school all the way up, I could never understand women so ready to take off their panties for people who barely had a GPA. They're competing with other women, Ebony. I'm just going to keep it real with you. They're competing with other women. They are for what? They're not competing for anything viable. I'm trying to tell you, they don't give a fuck. The black man oh, okay. is the, the black man is the fucking prize. What you mean? He's everything and scoring one and having one claim you in public. Oh my goodness, that's worth your savings, your 401k, your uterus, right? Your it's health, your, your children's lives, everything. So that's what they're fighting for. I don't know what you're confused about. If she's I'm not able confused, to it just doesn't, don't make any damn sense. Well, it doesn't I... make any damn sense. They're all going off on the short bus to hell. That's all I can say. That's what's up. Ladies, I don't know what to tell you. I really, really don't. If you look to your right on that screen, okay, you got black men unalive in their mama. You got black men, uh, just our wording folks. You got motherfuckers having their, their goddamn shit split, right? You got 1994, 1996 crimes just being solved this year because of DNA kits. I don't know what to tell you. Hell, you even got a nigga up here shooting, pew pewing over some goddamn guacamole. Everything from the top to the fucking bottom. Y'all are catching it. 
And then you want to see what this person has to say and that person has to say and all this extra shit. I don't know what to tell you. I really, really don't. OK, so like like I always say, I'm going to respect your decision, but I am going to clown you on your way out the door. It just is what it is. If you I would rather the ladies that hate divestors to just say, you know, y'all got some points, but I'm going to go ahead and fall on my sword on this hill. This is the hill I'm choosing to, you know, pass away on. But don't try to make it seem like we're lying on black men and black people. We're not. It's people every single week that won't even live to hear the goddamn message. And you don't mind putting out that bad information, acting like it's a, a level playing ground between black men, white men, Asian men, so on and so forth. When it's not, you know, it's not because whenever your mammy ass is in trouble, you look for somebody that's non-black to help you out of it. I saw y'all this past week. Hey, I saw y'all this past week outside these IRS offices. Huh? Huh? You had a bitch in a wheelchair, right, with one fucking leg. How you stand on business on one leg, I don't know, but she stood on business. She wanted the motherfucker. <laughs> Listen, girl, it's a mess. It's embarrassing. I don't even know what to say, okay? TV, I yes, need to see that video. Who, I will why see. were they outside of the Be IRS office? What? It was hundreds of them outside because they wanted their money. They were broke. They were talking about their utilities were cut off and all this shit. And I'm saying y'all got this flex culture, but here y'all are outside of Houston's IRS office, Atlanta's IRS office, you know, the Blackistani capitals looking for your money because you on your last leg. Yup. I meant to be nasty right there. If you got one leg, that's your last leg pull up. But Hey, I don't know what to tell you. Y'all can keep can continue to look at this mirage and pretend like it's not happening. But ladies it's getting more and more violent out there because they are getting more and more hungry. One month old mm. babies ain't goddamn safe because mm. he don't want to pay child support. He don't have it. Hmm? And if they were to turn around and audit all them motherfuckers when nobody be getting no refund check at all while they out there trying to protest some shit. I wonder how many of them legitimately was owed the, them tax refunds. Hmm. Oh, secret. Okay. See, I'll tell you, I'll give y'all a secret um, real quick. The reason that that happened to y'all, Blackistan, you owe me a dollar for this. Pull up. The reason that that happened at these various offices in Blackistan, there's some warrants out here for y'all for some of those PPP loans and some of those relief checks you got. They want you to come pick up your goddamn tax return so they can put your ass in cuffs. Thank a divester, bitch. Anyway, go ahead, Kyra. Oh, I just want to say that some of y'all in the chat are a mess. They were saying... I, they were saying that they can understand shooting over queso, but some damn guacamole. No, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> guacamole is good. What you mean? L listen, I'm trying to figure out. See, even when they uh, engage in bullshit, it's never over shit they grow or that is indigenous to the black community. Because guacamole, the the key ingredient for that is avocados, and that comes from that Hispanic daddy. That oh. comes from Mexico and Baja California. So you fighting over zaddies avocados that made guacamole you inferiors are just a fucking head case <laughs> well they're uh, fighting over the guac they're fighting over the avocados they're fighting over that zaddy's win i mean it's they're inferior yeah mm -hmm. f f minus 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 uh well since we talking about it i'm gonna go ahead and show you his ugly ass let me say it like memphis or or the south a glass did i say it right a glass anyway go ahead Police body cam video of a man being arrested after he allegedly shot a restaurant employee because he was angry about guacamole. The reason that this happened is because of poor decisions, inability to control emotions, and that's what led uh, to the shooting. It when we say that, it, it, a black man said it. Hey, mammies, you believe it now? We said your yo, yo men don't have any goddamn control over their emotions. They childish and they ap they operate out here like grown ass children. Is he is he a, a divester? <laughs> you you want to call him a bad wench because it came out of his. Woo, we, we not behind the wall. Go. It happened Friday night at the Chipotle on Evergreen in Southfield. This happened right across the street from the police station. So what's the nerve of that? And you think you're going to get away with it? 32-year-old Aaron Michael Brown arrested a short distance away at a press conference on Monday, a timeline. The suspect, Mr. Aaron Brown, 
into the Chipotle restaurant with his wife. While standing at the register, Mr. Brown asked for extra guacamole on his food that he had just purchased. Police say he was upset because it wasn't enough guacamole. Mr. Brown then called the female Chipotle employee a derogatory name of the B word, which upset her understandably. Fellow employees took her to the back to try to calm her down, leaving the front counter unattended. Our suspect, Mr. Brown, uh, who previously had paid for his food items, uh, began to proceed to go around the counter and began to bag his own items. And then he took a cup and filled it with guacamole. A 21-year-old male employee tried to stop him. All right, that's when they start acting a whole nigga fool. So I have to stop there. They show the shooting and everything. Y'all see the title of the shit. But ladies, I'm finding that y'all getting some straight bullets wherever y'all go. They are losing their damn minds. There is no cooth, no class, no order. They want anarchy. They really do. You're supposed to be able to tell a whole corporation what size the cup is supposed to be when you pay that extra dollar fifty for that guacamole. This is not how real life goes. But ladies, this is what the BLM movement was about. Pull up. They are supposed to be able to push people in the side of their temple whenever they feel like it because they was wronged. And if you take them to jail, you are being racist. It is what it is. But ladies, change is gonna come. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put that out there a, a, a little bit, a little spoiler. And, and those of y'all that are in my Discord, y'all need to get y'all ass there tonight because Mrs. Rowe got some announcements to make. So, anyway, anybody got oh, anything? Bitch, this ain't enough guacamole. I mean, seriously? <laughs> they, <laughs> they, they will escalate absolutely any situation to act a fool. And I I'm tired of people asking where well, Black Lives Matter at when situations like this happen. I told y'all a long time ago where well, Black Lives Matter is. They have got, they have bought mansions far the fuck away from you niggas with the money that they stole. They don't even want to live around the same people that they're protesting for. We've been told y'all that's where they are because every time shit happens, folks be like, well, Black Lives Matter in they mansions far the fuck away from you niggas. Get that in your head. With security. Oh, those women in those mansions got security. Remember they said, you know, law enforcement, they need to be defunded, but they got their own little law enforcement up there because they know you niggas ain't worth the fuck. It is what it is. I love it. That's the first thing they do, move far the fuck away. They don't even want to live around the same people that they be protesting for. That's how you should know how full of shit a lot of you motherfuckers are. Mm. I guess, ladies, it's not safe for y'all to go to jail or none of that shit. I'm just going to keep it real with you. I got on my list over here, and I'm, I promise you I'm not going to take you through it. I'm not. It's it, It'll take too goddamn long, and I'd rather motherfucking talk. And plus, I want to get to my closing video. Congratulations to y'all that stayed towards the end. But, ladies, you got black men that work for the sheriff's offices. That's our word in y'all while y'all prisoners, okay? Y'all defunded the police and wanted the police to go away. These black men got in law enforcement, and when they get y'all by y'all on these transport buses and stuff, they are taking your coochie. You ain't hollering about that shit. Ben Crump ain't coming about that shit. Y'all are fighting for y'all own enemy. They have been the enemy. A lot of black, black women won't say that shit, that black men, you know, they've been your number one enemy since day one, and they blame white supremacy for every fucking thing they can think of, and it's simply not true. The things that y'all heard up here tonight, that you saw on the slides, that you saw in the news and all that shit. Can y'all tell me where white supremacy fits in in this? I don't see it. You don't see it. And you're trying to lube it up and push it in this round fucking hole when it's a square, trying to make it fit. It just does not fit. Y'all also said that Roy G. Biv bullshit didn't come to black men until the white man came in. That is simply not true either. That has been going on for thousands of years on the continent and off. Y'all have been lying to these women, but the people that are up to bat tonight are these sprinkle bitches, okay? Because y'all going to get some people unalived as well, okay? Pull up. Now, let me get this from up here. Fuck these news stories. Oh, y'all know easy. what they're about. Yes, ma'am. I want to also uh, uh, let you guys know that the U.S. has started deporting Haitians back to Haiti. As Good. bad as it Excellent. is. They're deporting them, okay? Just letting you know. It's going to get right, ladies. It's going to get right. Back to sprinkle, sprinkle and shit. Ladies, there's nothing wrong with wanting 
stability. There's nothing wrong with your man paying all your bills. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You shouldn't be going 50-50. I said it out of my own mouth. If you want to work, if you have a significant other, right, he should be paying the bills. If something happens to him, you should have a way to help help out temporarily. But no way should any man be depending on your check for keeping the house afloat. That's not providing. I hope y'all understand what I'm saying. If he needs you to work, that's inappropriate. If you want to work, that should be an option. Okay. You should have that money put the fuck up for an emergency and all that shit if you do work. His shit should 100% pay all the fucking bills. Ladies, I'm going to give y'all something real quick, and you can disagree with me if you want to. You know I don't care, okay? Coochie in women is for grown men. Let me repeat myself. Coochie and women are for grown men. Well, what is a grown man, okay? You have to ask yourself that. Do black men fit the bill? I think you know they don't. Grown men provide, they protect, they make a way, they solve the problems. You get to take a breath when you walk in y'all sanctuary because you know he going to take care of everything, right? You're supposed to be there in support, right? Cook a couple meals if you feel like it, right? Be kind. Y'all have to compromise and all that good stuff, but in no way financially should you be paying all these bills. Now that I got that part out the way. That sprinkle, sprinkle shit going to get y'all fucked the fuck up. It's not going to work out in the long term. When it's short term, that's called sex exchange for goddamn money. And what's another word for that? Prostitution. Ladies, it doesn't have a long term, especially if he's 40 fucking years older than you. He is going to take the long nap right? And then you got to find a way. If you're not on any of this paperwork, God forbid you that sugar baby that's the side bitch and he has an actual wife, you're going to have to find you another old geriatric dick that got money, okay? Because the average American, when they old, they get social security. Y'all be looking at these reels. That's online bullshit. I need y'all to hear me. Anybody got anything on that? Okay, because this is just ridiculous. Oh, DZ, y'all remember... This is in white news, but y'all remember that actor that played Dumbledore and he died and he left his he left only his side babies ten thousand dollars each. I don't remember that, but I believe it. So, ladies, I'm glad you stayed to the end. Check it. Have y'all put a one in the chat or a heart emoji in the chat? If y'all seen those niggas come up with drizzle drizzle, I'm trying to see something. That's their response to sprinkle sprinkle. I'm trying to see something. It's fucking hilarious to me, okay? Put a heart emoji, heart emoji in the chat if you've seen it, because they tired of the sprinkle sprinkle too. All right, I'm getting the ones. Heart emoji. Y'all see the shit. Gr green heart is very fucking good. Coco, that was an excellent idea with the green heart. They talking about they going to live the soft life. These niggas is talking that shit on y'all. First of all, niggas have already been living the soft life. Pull up, because y'all provided it. But they got win if y'all sprinkle, sprinkle sector. And now they're talking about who they ain't going to date. And they've been saying that, but they're just, you know, being antagonistic to you for being antagonistic to you. Why? Because they don't like your motherfucking ass. There's this white man, okay, that peeked in because white folks is always peeking in on what you niggas is doing. I told you, you don't live in a bubble. They see you and they're immaculate record keepers. Pull up. So he made a satirical one letting you know you ain't fixing to do that for real. You fixing to keep playing with these bum ass motherfuckers out here because that's real motherfuckers. We see you coming. I thought the shit was hilarious. Check him out with his drizzle drizzle. Swipe left immediately. I'm not a slave. High value is having my life too. That's kind of the soft guy era. This soft guy era. I'm only dating chicks who can keep up with my hefty requirements of Johnny Walker Blue. I won't tolerate anything less than that. You think I'll, I expect you to pick up your dirty clothes off the floor, but you're not gonna give me Johnny Walker Blue? Drizzle, drizzle, baby. In my soft guy era, I am only dating women who can at least double what I already have. So I've got a six bedroom, 7,000 square foot house. I am only gonna date women who have at least a 12 bedroom, 14,000 square foot house. Drizzle, drizzle. 
in my soft guy era, I am no longer driving a vehicle that takes 1.9 seconds to get to 60 miles an hour. I'm only going to date a woman who can provide me with a vehicle that goes zero to 60 in one second, because if she really loved me, she would understand that two seconds to get to 60 is way too long. Drizzle, drizzle. In my soft guy era, I am only going to date women who can provide me with better than what I already have. Hmm, 22 way rear power adjustable seat. I need, I'm only gonna date a woman moving forward in my soft guy era that has a 44 way rear passenger seat. More leg room, now we got it. In my soft guy era, I know I might expect a woman to pick up after herself, but if she really loved me, she'd understand that I love playing the cello and would buy me one that was made in France in the 1700s. Because if she doesn't, does she really love me? Probably not. Drizzle, drizzle. So yeah, Jessica, as I enter my soft guy era, I don't think I'd swipe right on you. Definitely be a left swipe. Drizzle, drizzle. DZ. Y'all bitches <laughs> unfucked up, okay? Y'all bitches unfucked up. Ladies, they see you coming, ma'am. These, this man jumped in on it. He's clearly a man of means. You're not going to be able to walk your funky ass up to him and get him to sprinkle, sprinkle your ass. Y'all done told all your business and on top of that, you getting unalive. What the fuck are y'all doing? Go ahead, mm -hmm. Mrs. Rowe. <laughs> Sorry, DZ. You know what I think is so funny when it comes to the blacks and the inferiors on the internet mm -hmm. is that y'all act like, y'all. when I say I hang upside down like a bat in these spaces, who, who do y'all think is hanging upside down next to me? Mm. Y'all are so, mm. y'all are so short-sighted. You inferiors are just constantly short-sighted because uh, white men built all this shit. Of course, they're hanging us upside down to see what the fuck y'all got going on because y'all always on some fuck shit. This is why most of y'all can't move in stealth. This is why most of y'all will always be sprinkler, sprinkler at down at the goddamn nursing home with Willie Earl and them still stuck at his dick <laughs> after he had a stroke. So there is no helping you, bitches. Report to Discord after this so y'all can get this other stuff I got going on. I can't. Y'all, I'm mean, just letting them know it, exactly how absurd they sound, right? When they when they start saying certain shit and making certain requests, and it, and and when you think about what he's saying, if men of means came out and started saying a lot of the shit that he's saying, a lot of women would have the balls to actually be offended by that. But well, why we got to have this? Or why we got to do all that? Or, he ain't this or he ain't that. And it's like, no, but do y'all hear y'all selves doing what y'all been asking for? Ain't a lot nothing, of you sound crazy. Uh, ain't nothing wrong with having requirements out here announcing it and putting a goddamn slogan to it. Y'all bitches are goofy. You're bobbleheaded, dick dizzy. You don't know how to work money. Ladies, get, knock this shit off, okay? Because the ones that I'm seeing actually reply to y'all and y'all and they're being serious. It's these niggas in 2006 Toyota Corollas. They ain't in the fancy shit he in. They round this bitch drinking Boone's Farm talking about what you gonna do for them. Hey, it is what it is. Y'all get y'all. Boone's, Boone's, Boone's Farm. Farm. Mad Dog 2020 <laughs> round this bitch. I can't. Funky stupid asses. Really? Y'all have a... Ah! <laughs> Girl, I can't. Let's go have a great weekend. See y'all in Discord. Peace. Bye. Good night.